Jesse Hack, the serial killer killer, is ready to ride again in the pages of Hack Slash, son of Sam Hang, number one. The first Hack Slash comic series since the Big Army of Darkness crossover, and the first not to be penned by series creator and shepherd Tim Seeley. So, let's jump in and see what we can see. The comic opens with a flashback to ancient times, where cavemen battled against terrible monster men and their evil god Atan Sulu. Granted, they must not have been very much of a threat, I mean, come on. They got beaten by Neanderthals and their pointy rocks after they were driven underground, man. We check in with our hero, who since last we met has stumbled down a well of depression after her and her wife Georgia had their baby taken away. Now Hack is working as a bounty hunter in Texas, still riddled with all the guilt and regret. It's not until she meets a crusty old cowboy named Delroy does she decide to take up her classic spiked bat once more. It seems the monster men from the opening have been kidnapping people to sacrifice, and that their king Mortino has been working with the Black Lamp Society, the evil cult that made the slashers that caused Casey to become famous in the first place. The two new partners take to clearing out a cave and saving a feral kid before he runs off. It's it's nice to know all the over-the-top action and violence of Hack Slash is still very much intact here. The comic ends with the Monster Men having dug up Aton Sulu's cocoon and are planning to crack it open. Hack Slash Son of Sam Hain number one is going to be both very familiar and at the same time very different to longtime fans of the series. It's unfortunate that our hero's happy ending kind of had to be undone for this new series to take place, but honestly I think they found a pretty good inciting incident overall. This is also a much older and angrier Casey than we're used to. Delroy is a nice touch, I wonder if he's going to stick around. I think he's fun, but he's still not enough to fill that Vlad-shaped hole that, you know, the book has kind of been left with. Overall, pretty decent first issue, I plan to keep up with it. 7 out of 10.